everybody, it's Farrell with Untamed TV. I'm here with Zeb what from up? Enable Utah. Yee yee! I, I almost said from uh, Granger Smith, but... Well, kind of. And, I, <laughs> and uh, Dan from uh, Colt 46. And we are here because Zeb is so excited because uh, Granger Smith's coming, right? Yee yee! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> and what exactly, what, what exactly are you bringing to town for? Um, every year we have our big summer concert downtown at the Ogden Amphitheater. We bring in a country act that's up and coming, and we've had Old Dominion in the past. Last year we had Drake White. We've had Andy Grammer, and we always bring them in right before they blow up and become the next big thing. Yeah. And so uh, Granger Smith, he's already a big thing, but I think he's getting bigger, so we're bringing him in. Maybe the Enable, maybe the Enable Utah shows are the stepping stone that one needs to... Uh to succeed further their career yeah, yeah enable utah is the stepping stone that one needs to succeed in their <laughs> lives thank you and, that, and that's that's why dan's gonna come yeah because because colt 46 is gonna be opening right yeah we'll be there yep. and so he figures if he can open for the enable show that's his next step yeah, into the. that's our step up yes because yeah. he started playing drums last week and he's not too bad at it for being that quick yeah so <laughs> so honestly how long how long have you been playing oh how long have i been mm -hmm. playing drums mm -hmm. uh 45 years Really? Yeah. Holy smokes, that's older than I am. Yeah. yeah. Are you that old? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's 62. Thanks. So, no, I'm not. 62? <laughs> like, you never know these days. <laughs> so, do you, do you, have you always played country? Or do you play any style? Does it make a difference? I mean, can you just pick up sticks and go for whatever? Or? It doesn't matter what style. I played heavy metal when I was younger. I played country when I was real young. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of grew up around that. And then kind of went back to that over the years. So, but you uh, did, an important part, you have that big hair. In yeah, I did. I had that huge afro. That would have been I, I awesome. Did. I have That'd to show awesome. you a picture of that sometime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, how long have you been playing with uh, Colt Forty Six? Because I know you guys, just, um, you guys just kind of come together one day. It wasn't anything planned. Huh? Was no, it wasn't. It wasn't never planned at all. Uh, we just kind of fell together, like you said. Uh, I was asked to fill in from some shows for two other guys in the band, and they. We started. I started playing with them, and then next thing they started playing with me and Dell, mm -hmm. uh, singer from Colt Forty Six, and it kind of says, well, "Why don't we just do the one band instead of trying to float around two bands?" You know, and so we've just been doing that. It started about two thousand twelve. So and you guys have a CD? Yes, yes, we did put out anything, a CD. In anything new coming out yet? Yes, we're actually this weekend we're playing at the Outlaw. Uh, we're going to be. We've got three new songs we're going to throw out. Cool. See how they go over. Yeah, so, so I feel like I'm back and forth here. I, I can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> so how did you hear about Granger Smith? How did I hear yeah, about Granger Yeah, how did you come about knowing who he was? Um, well, his alter ego, Earl Dibbles Jr., is mm -hmm. pretty hilarious. That, that's actually how I found him. I was yeah. on YouTube one day and it just popped up. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I saw on like, my Pinterest all of his... Uh, Don't tell him we have a Pinterest. Think you're a sissy. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I have one too. Don't tell anybody. Well, it's an Earl Dibbles <laughs> Jr. Pinterest. Uh, it's a really manly Pinterest. That's cool, then, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's got some funny quotes, man. Yeah, he does some uh, some good stuff. So, but he's he's extremely talented. Even when he's being silly and he's doing the alter ego of Earl Dibbles Jr. Yeah, he still does a good job. It's not like he's just. Oh yeah, he does a way good job. He's not phoning it in. Yeah, no, yeah, it's <laughs> he's really good. Um, I was listening to the acoustic version of Happens Like That. That's mm -hmm. like his. His single his that's single. on yeah. the charts right now, yeah. and uh, the acoustic version is really good. So. His, you know, that album "Dirt Road Driveway." I don't think there's a bad song on that. Yeah. Actually, that's that's a, that's a pretty good yeah. CD. I don't know what his next single is going to be, but on his album, there's one called uh, "When the Good Guys Win." You heard that one? Mm -hmm. It's a good one. There's a he has that song "Happens Like That." Yeah, that was the one big one. Yeah. <laughs> Go through and look on YouTube and look for his version of "I Happen to Like Cats." <laughs> <laughs> he did he did a video where he's just being silly and he has like a cat sweater and he has cats all over and he has like pictures of cats and and he he just changed the lyrics up for it. Happen Sweet to cat, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> I happen to like it, cats. It's actually That's really hilarious. funny. Yeah, it really he seems is. like a funny guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, he seems like a cool guy. Uh, his brothers, his manager. I've been on the phone with them, getting all the promotions and stuff sorted. So I think it'll be a good show, man. I'm pretty stoked. I think we'll be too. And when is the show? It's going to be June 22nd this year. So 
I wanted to have it a little bit earlier in the year so mm-hmm. that everyone could spend money on our show. Yeah, right. Before they spend the rest of their money at all the other well, stuff yeah, in the summer. Those, right? those crap concerts. Yeah, all yeah. those crap concerts that you're like. Luke Bryan. Like, yeah, when you horrible. Get, look like that. Yeah, Luke yeah. Bryan. <laughs> um, no, uh, but like seriously, you go to some of these big venues and you're sitting way in the back and it's a good time and stuff. But when you come to Ogden and the Ogden Amphitheater, mm-hmm. you're right there. You're front row Joe in it. And yeah. you get to actually interact with the artists and get some good pictures. And stuff like that. It's pretty, yeah, I don't, pretty fun. You know, I've always wondered because the, the Ogden Amphitheater is super cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's... It's intimate, yet it's big enough that you could pack a couple thousand people in there. But Absolutely. I wish there would be more shows at the amphitheater. Well, that's we're trying to do our best to. Maybe you should start doing. Maybe you should do like an '80s metal band at the end of the year in a country. That'd be awesome. '80s metal band, a country band. Yeah. Um, Not on the same bill, of course. Britney Spears. No. 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 You're telling me if I got Britney Spears to come for a concert, you wouldn't go? I mean, I may. <laughs> 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 that's what we like to hear. So. The 22nd of June, yep. um, any idea what tickets are going to be yet? Yeah, t- uh, tickets, again, we're keeping it cheap. It's going to be 15 bucks uh, if you get it in advance on eventbrite.com, uh, keyword Granger Smith. Um, day of the show, it's going to be 20 bucks, And you can get what we call the Pepsi Pit Pass. Pepsi's mm-hmm. our sponsor. And for 25 bucks, you can get down in the pit front row. Oh, um, really? Yeah. I think, you know what, I bet that show will sell out. I would, I would dare to say there probably won't be any tickets left by then. Around. That's what uh, that's what we're thinking too. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, tickets go on sale um, today. So, where can you go buy them? At? Uh, eventbrite.com keyword Granger Smith. Is that the only place? Yeah, it's the only place. Really? Yeah, we have an exclusive with Eventbrite. Oh wow! Okay. Their fees are lower there. So, yeah, all the money goes to helping enable Utah people. Oh, so they're uh, keeping the yeah people with uh, disabilities who work for enable. Yeah, Utah. I was just gonna ask, what exactly does enable Utah do? Because yeah. some yeah. may not know. That. So, um, you know, people have physical disabilities, intellectual disabilities, special needs, mm-hmm. Down syndrome, autism, stuff like that. Um, those people need jobs, man. Um, they need a little uh, extra help, some extra resources to have uh, good jobs, and that's what Enable Utah provides. We've got a facility out here in Ogden in the industrial park. We have all sorts of different contracts for local businesses that people can come and earn a wage and get some job training and life skills, and then we uh, hope to place them at jobs out in the community. So if someone's looking to get a hold of you guys for, say, a donation, yeah. a huge donation is what they need. Yeah. Who would, how, would they, how would they find you? Um, enable, enableutah.org is our website, and all our contact information is there. You can donate online. You can buy products that are made by our individuals. Um, we have a candle company, and uh, you can also get information on how to hire someone with a disability at your place of work. So Very cool. And if you want to get a hold of you guys to book a gig or find out if you guys can hear any of you any good. I mean, <laughs> on colt46.com. You can and find us there or on the Facebook too. And you also have uh, you, uh, iTunes and yeah. YouTube and yeah. Spotify. And Our album is on iTunes, Spotify. Uh, it's, it's called Airway. Hang Fire. It's the album. It's good too. Yeah. Uh, I, well, thank I you. have it on my playlist. The pictures so. in it are awesome. Actually, Farrell did all the pictures. In it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I was like, I don't look the pictures. <laughs> but yeah, they're really good. So yeah. I'm excited to have you guys this year. Yeah. We're excited to be there. All right, cool. Well, I'm looking forward to the show, so it should be a lot of fun. And I guess that's that. That's a wrap. That's that. Yee yee! <laughs> Hey!